Good morning. Um, I am taking a different mode of transportation today. I am, whoops, hold on. <laughs> Gracias. I am getting into an Uber because my motorcycle is at the spa, aka at the BMW service center getting her nails done, aka getting a service. So I am taking an Uber to today's adventure, which is actually completely perfect because if there was any place that I was going to take an Uber to, it would be this place. Because did you know that San Salvador has a volcano inside the city? inside but basically next to the city of San Salvador is a big volcano called Volcano San Salvador, Volcan San Salvador. So that is where I'm headed. Yo soy un vlogger. <laughs> vlogger, un youtuber. Ah, okay. Sí. Pero normalmente de mis viajes de la moto. Pero mi moto está en la el agencia para un servicio. Moto so today I'm in San Salvador, the capital city of El Salvador. And one of the coolest things is that there is a large volcano right next door. So if you don't have a motorcycle, you can easily get there by Uber, which is exactly what I'm doing today. And not only do I get to peer into the depths of this volcano's crazy crater center, but later on, I get to learn a little bit more about the history of San Salvador and the recent changes that have occurred. And I gotta tell you, it seems like the good things for El Salvador are only just getting started. Ah, sí, está ahí. Es un poco lento. Sí, es. ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Mario Hernández. Ah, ok. Sí. Mucho gusto. Gracias. Gracias. Bonito día. Buen día. <risa> Hola, días. buenos días. ¿Me va a desayunar algo antes de subir? Oh, no, gracias. Ahí Ten... es el ingreso. Que ok. Muy bien. Gracias. Hola, buenos días. El Puletas. Sí, ahí hay que, hay que pasar a pagar. Gracias. Gracias. Ah, aquí. Ok, we made it. We're here at. Parque Nacional Bocaron, and there's a little museum here, right here. So I'm gonna go to that first, just to soak in some information before we go on this little hike. Okay, I'll tell you what I learned. Well, the volcano sits at about 1900 meters high. The rim of the volcano is about 1.5 kilometers, which is about a mile, less, a little less than a mile. And from the rim down to the bottom, it's about 550 meters. And it last erupted um, over 100 years ago, 1917, and it was a major uh, eruption where lava went uh, into the north side of the city and pretty much destroyed uh, that part of the city. And it left what is now called Pocoroncito, um, and Pocoron means like big mouth, and then Pocoroncito is like like middle, middle, little mouth. Um, and it's like a little small crater. So they call it the crater inside the crater. So today I have to go pick up my bike. I'm doing this early in the morning. Um, I don't have a whole lot of time. So for that reason, I'm probably just gonna do the 
not around the entire rim because I don't have enough time. Otherwise, I probably would. So let's check it out. Now I've already got a split in direction. Shall I go this way or this way? Is that better? Es el principal mirador. Este es por el otro es más adelantado. Ah, ok. Termino allá, ¿no? Si quieres. Ok. Gracias. ¿Vives aquí? Ah, hola. Ah, ok. Bye. done. There's lots of signage. Um, it was very cute. I'll explain on the map in case anyone wants to come. Basically, because I didn't really see this at first, I thought they were different miradors, but basically there's only miradors along the top and then you have like several different paths you can take to kind of get to like where all the miradors are along the rim. So depending on how easy you want it, how direct, or just if you want to explore, that's what these paths are really all about. The easy path. And then there's stairs up here that seem to go much higher. It's probably the steeper, more direct path. I'm gonna go that one. the week and I'm the only one here and it's really quiet. Keep it all. You say hi? Oh hi buddy. Can you say hi? What's up? Are you a stray dog? Can I come to the new door with you? Come. I'll share my blueberries. Okay, what's up? Okay, we've got someone to join us. Looks like he's coming. <laughs> Just couldn't be more perfect. Looks like there's like just like a little restaurant here or something. Hey buddy. You came this way? Yeah. Okay, wow. Hello. Hello. Oh. It's the first mirror. And it's pretty cool. There's uh, all that cloud you can see. So it's covering what the bottom is, which they poker or some poker poke. It's really 
really beautiful. And guess what? Now you can see El Pocoroncito. Here it is. A little big mouth. <laughs> Pocoroncito. Looking down at the trees over there, there's like trees growing in the little Bocoroncito and it's just so weird because they look so small but they're full grown trees and it's just as you know incredible to look at and hard to sound silly when I describe it. <laughs> oh it's cool. You see that little gray spot right there in the very middle of Bocoronito? Um, it says something. It has a little message and when you zoom in on the camera you can see. <laughs> That's what someone wrote down there. That's pretty cool. I wouldn't have seen it without the camera. Four or five lookout points, miradors. There's this path, which I believe is a path to go around the rim. From what I know, the path gets a little bit overgrown for maybe two or three kilometers. Uh, you might get lost there, as they, as I've heard. On the other side, I've heard that there's really good lookout points, so got the time sounds like it's a good adventure to go around the rim and also down but down it is extremely steep I've heard very treacherous things about it um, and it's definitely something to do with a guide because not many people go as I've heard and it's overgrown it's slippery you have to use ropes all that stuff so if you can find a guide apparently they work really on weekends which there's more people on weekends but you can get a guide so there you go it's a really beautiful place to visit like me for the morning morning activity before you go do something else it's just so refreshing so nice so beautiful <laughs> One trouble about coming up here by Uber is that you also have to get an Uber back and it seems that nobody wants to accept a ride up here. So I'm gonna take a walk and just walk down the road and I don't know, maybe get closer to where they might want to pick me up. It's a new feeling not having a mode of transportation. Okay, the next vehicle that comes down this road, I'm gonna hitchhike. Car is going up, not down. Okay, here we go. Okay, the only trouble is my Uber driver just, uh, an Uber driver just accepted the ride. However, I put it like way low, so I don't know where this truck is gonna take me. <laughs>
Okay, I just hopped off the truck. I didn't capture that on video, but then my Uber driver, here he comes. Look at that. So perfect. Safe. Gracias. Delincuencia. Ah, porque, pero, Gangas. sí, ok, pero porque, ¿cómo cambió? Eh, presidente. El presidente. Sí. Ah, el limpia de todo. Él, uh, él se ha encargado de mucho de seguridad. Ah, sí, bueno. Ha desplegado muchos mucho policías, muchos soldados en zonas que era bastante peligrosa. Ok. Y eso ha hecho que, que el país... Qué bonito, qué bueno. Parece que más extranjeros vienen sí. aquí. Sí. sí. ¿Mucho más? Bastante. Ajá. Qué bueno para el, el país. La economía ha mejorado bastante. Ajá. ¿En ¿Todo moto? en moto? Todo en moto. Sí, sí, sí. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? ¿En serio? Sí, sí. ¿Las de... fronteras todo es en moto? Sí, todo en moto. Ok. Sí, la Hotspur. Super speed. Super driver. Es posible pasar, ¿no? Aquí es imposible. Ah, sí. Aquí es posible. 